Hello, financial enthusiasts! Welcome back to Stock Market Catalyst, where we reveal the secrets to financial success and building a solid foundation for a brighter future. You have discovered that option prices are influenced by three factors daily, the underlying stock price, time to expiration, and the implied volatility of the underlying stock. However, the key question is how much these factors will impact an option's price. For instance, if the stock goes up by one point, you'd like to know how much profit you'll make on the call option you own. Similarly, you want to understand how much money you'll lose due to time decay if 5 days pass or how the option's price will change if volatility drops by 10%. To address these questions, we use what are known as Option Greeks. Option Greeks provide insights into how an option's price will respond to changes in the underlying stock price, time to expiration, and the underlying stock's volatility. Essentially, they measure an option's price sensitivity to these individual factors. Mastering these options Greek is essential because they help us make informed decisions about which strike prices and expirations to choose when placing trades. Additionally, they aid in understanding the risks associated with our trades, which is critical to success in trading. In this video, we'll break down each four primary option Greeks, Delta, Gamma, Theta, and Vega. These Greeks play a vital role in understanding how options behave and how they are influenced by changes in the underlying asset's price, time remaining until expiration, and the underlying asset's implied volatility. By grasping the significance of these four option Greeks, traders and investors can make more informed decisions and effectively manage their options positions. Let's first talk about Delta. Delta measures an option's price change about a one-point change in the underlying asset's price. It indicates the option's sensitivity to movements in the stock price. The Delta ranges from 0 to 1 for call options, while put options range from 0 to negative 1. Let us demonstrate this with a real example. You can easily find the Delta and the other option Greeks on the option chain. Click Layout and select Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega. This will provide valuable information to analyze and make informed decisions in options trading. Now we can access all the option Greeks for each contract. All the call options display a positive number for Delta, while the put options show a negative number for Delta. This distinction is because Delta indicates the expected change in an option's price if the underlying stock price increases by one point. Therefore, the call options will increase when the stock price rises by one point, hence the positive Delta value. On the other hand, for put options, if the stock price rises by one point, they will decrease in value resulting in a negative delta value. Delta provides a clear insight into how an option's price responds to changes in the underlying stock price, making it an essential metric for options trading decisions. Let's take a closer look at one of the options for an illustration, and in this case, we'll choose the 123 strike call. As you can observe, the delta for this option is 45 cents. This information conveys that if the stock price increases by $1, the value of this specific option contract should increase by 47 cents. Understanding this concept is significant because owning one contract of this call option means that if the stock rises by one point, you can potentially make $47 in profit. It's a straightforward concept, but the important part about Delta is that it is not a fixed number. As the stock price moves, the Delta will change, and the value of Gamma measures this change. Gamma determines the rate of change of Delta in response to fluctuations in the stock price. So, as the stock moves, the Delta will dynamically adjust, impacting how your options position responds to market movements. Now, let's delve into the concept of Gamma. gamma 
Emma measures the rate of change in an option's delta concerning a one-point change in the underlying asset's price. It shows how delta may change as the stock price fluctuates. Gamma is at its highest for at-the-money options and decreases as the money moves further in or out of the money. In the case of this option we're examining, the gamma is 5 cents. This implies that if the stock goes up by one point, the current delta of 47 cents will increase by 5, resulting in a new delta of 52 cents. Don't worry too much about gamma at this stage of your trading education. It's not a major factor we consider when making trading decisions. Instead, focus on understanding the idea that delta is constantly changing. What's crucial for you to grasp is that as an option becomes more valuable, its delta will increase. Let us elaborate on this concept to help you better understand its significance. Let's examine the option chain to examine all the available option contracts. As you observe, the delta of an option increases as it becomes further in the money. On the other hand, as we move out of the money, the delta becomes smaller. For now, that's all you need to comprehend about gamma. Just remember that the delta becomes larger as an option gains more value. So, to summarize, you have now learned about delta and gamma. These two important option Greeks help us understand how changes in the underlying stock price can influence an option's price. Let's now turn our attention to theta. Theta measures the time decay of an option. It shows how much the option's price decreases as each day passes, considering all other factors remain constant. Theta is essential for understanding the impact of time on an option's value. In simple terms, theta represents the amount an option's price will change when one day passes. For instance, if the option you observe has a negative 12 cents, it implies that if one day goes by, this option's price will decrease by 12 cents due to time decay. However, it's important to note that this doesn't guarantee the option will be exactly 12 cents lower tomorrow. Each day, all three factors, underlying stock price, time to expiration, and implied volatility, will collectively influence an option's price. Theta indicates that if the stock's price remains unchanged and implied volatility doesn't fluctuate, the option's price should decrease by 12 cents compared to its current value. Let's revisit the option chain. You'll notice that theta has a negative value for all the options. This is because as each day passes, all these options experience decay. Over time, options' time value steadily decreases, directly influencing their overall worth. Consequently, when you acquire an option contract, you'll inevitably face the challenge of time decay which acts as a headwind against the option's price. In summary, Theta quantifies how much an option's price will change within one day. As time continues, the option's value is impacted as its time value gradually erodes. Now, there's another important option Greek known as Vega. Vega represents an option's sensitivity to changes in implied volatility. It measures how much an option's price is expected to change for every one percentage point change in the implied volatility of the underlying asset. For instance, let's consider this option, which has a vega of 15 cents. This signifies that if the implied volatility of the underlying stock rises by 1%, the option's price will increase by 15 cents. As we revisit the option chain, you'll observe that vega is a positive number for all the options, including calls and puts. This is because any increase in implied volatility will cause all options to become more expensive. In summary, Vega helps us understand how changes in implied volatility impacts an option's price and it plays a crucial role in determining option premiums when volatility fluctuates. Let's consider a real-life example using the fictional stock XYZ currently trading at $100 per share. XYZ call option with a strike price of $105 and 30 days to expiration. Suppose the delta of this XYZ call option is 0.60. This means that for every one point increase in the stock price of XYZ, the option's price will increase by approximately $0.60. If XYZ's stock price rises from $100 to $101, the call option's price will increase by around $0.60. 
Let's assume the gamma of the same XYZ call option is 0.05. If the stock price of XYZ increases by 1 point, the gamma tells us that the option's delta would increase by 0.05. So if the stock price of XYZ goes up by 1 point from $100 to $101, the option's delta would increase from 0.60 to 0.65. The theta of this XYZ call option is negative 0.03. It indicates that if one day passes, the option's price will decrease by approximately $0.03, assuming all other factors remain constant. So if there are no other changes and one day elapses, the option's price would decrease by around $0.03. For this XYZ call option, let's say the Vega is $0.15. If the implied volatility of XYZ increases by one percentage point, the option's price will increase by approximately $0.15, so if the implied volatility goes up from let's say 20% to 21%, the options price would increase by around 0.15%. In summary, understanding these option Greeks, Delta, Gamma, Theta, and Vega can provide valuable insights into how options respond to changes in the underlying stock price, time, and implied volatility. Traders and investors can use this information to make informed decisions, assess risks, and adjust their strategies in response to market movements. Now, we explored how each of these Greeks provides insights into an option's price changes with daily passage and fluctuations in the underlying stock's price and implied volatility. However, the exciting part is that we can also analyze our position as Greeks. This means we can assess these factors' combined impact on our options position, helping us understand the overall risk and potential rewards associated with our option strategies. Let us demonstrate and illustrate this concept to provide you with a clearer understanding. Let's review our current position in the S&P 500 index or ticker symbol SPX and analyze the position Greeks to gain valuable insights. As we examine the delta of this position, we find it is negative 8.98, indicating that if the SPX goes up by 1 point, our position's profit and loss or PL will change by negative 8.98. Theoretically, we could lose 8.98 points from where the trade currently stands. However, it's worth noting that we are already up 425 in this position. So, if the SPX rises by 1 point, we would theoretically lose 8.98 points from our current profit, bringing it down to around 416. On the other hand, a negative delta signifies that we are short on the underlying stock or SPX and we want the market to go down. This is a useful aspect of viewing the delta of our position as it helps us understand whether we are long or short on the underlying market. If the delta were positive, it would indicate a long position, meaning we would benefit from the higher price. Another important feature of examining the delta is that it provides directional exposure and helps ensure that this exposure aligns with our risk tolerance. A larger delta number would indicate higher exposure to the market's movements. In this case, since we traded 10 contracts and the delta is negative 8.98, we are short on the underlying market or SPX and have a bearish view, hoping for the market to decline. Imagine if we had traded 100 contracts on this trade instead of just 10. In that case, the delta number would be around negative 80 instead of just negative 8. This means that if the SPX went up by 1 point, we would potentially lose $80 on the position. Delta serves as a valuable tool to gauge risk in options trading. However, it's important to remember that while it's a good way to measure risk, it's not the only method available for risk assessment. Diversifying risk analysis with other factors and strategies can lead to a more comprehensive understanding of potential outcomes in the market. The delta value of negative 8.98 is relatively small and almost insignificant, a characteristic of the iron condor strategy. The strategy is considered powerful 
because it allows us to profit from time decay and volatility while minimizing the influence of the stock price, which is notoriously challenging to predict accurately. Remember that you'll learn more about the iron condor strategy later, but for now, understand that the negative delta implies that if the SPX goes up by 1 point, the position would lose 8.98 from its current state. Determining whether a delta is big or small is subjective and depends on your risk tolerance and account size. However, for those with a history of trading stocks, one way to assess it is by considering that this option position is equivalent to being short 8 shares of the SPX. Although the SPX is an index and not directly tradable, this analogy helps conceptualize the delta by indicating the number of equivalent shares you are effectively long or short on in the underlying market. If you hold a long position of 50 shares in a stock, your delta would be plus 50, indicating that if the stock goes up by 1 point, you would make $50. On the other hand, if your option position shows a delta of negative 10, for instance, it means you are effectively short 10 shares of the under underlying stock or market. Remember that this delta value can change and it will change by the amount of gamma. In the case of this particular trade, if the SPX goes up by 1 point, the delta would shift from negative 8.98 to negative 10.57. However, don't worry too much about gamma, as it's not a primary focus and more about understanding that your delta will change as the stock moves, impacting your directional exposure. Now, let's talk about theta. We mentioned earlier that all options have a negative theta because they constantly decay over time. However, when we look at our position theta, you'll notice that the number is positive. This means this position benefits from time decay, bringing in 72.63 for each passing day. It's quite advantageous because all of our strategies at Skyview trading leverage time decay to our benefit. Ensuring you are on the right side of time decay is crucial for successful options trading. So, by examining the position theta, you can determine how your profit and loss will change with each passing day. Now, let's delve into the final option Greek for this position, Vega. As you can observe, the Vega in this position stands at negative 176.78. This indicates that for every percentage point increase in implied volatility, we would lose $176. Conversely, for every percentage point decrease in implied volatility, we would make $176. Vega reflects how changes influence the options price in implied volatility, showcasing the potential impact of volatility fluctuations on our position's value. You. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey into the world of Options Greek. We hope this video has given you a solid understanding of the four main option Greeks, Delta, Gamma, Theta, and Vega, and how they play a crucial role in options trading. By grasping these option Greeks, you gain a valuable edge in assessing risk, making informed decisions, and fine-tuning your option strategies to align with your trading objectives. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting, mastering these Greeks will elevate your trading game and enhance your potential for success. In the upcoming video, Investing for Beginners Options Trading Part 5, we will be talking about option strategies that you can use to start making money trading options. Don't miss our latest video, Investing for Beginners Options Trading Part 3 of our trading series. Here you'll learn the three main factors that affect an option's price and how these factors will affect the option's price each day.